Hello, welcome. Python in Excel part 11. We're going to look at time and code, and I'm going to show you how you can change the output of the Excel method. So I've got a query called TDF finishes, and I've loaded it into this data frame, DF finishes, and I want to filter DF finishes on DF finishes dot year modulo 10 equals zero. And that will give me all of the data with years that end with a zero. So 1900, 1910, 1920, and so on. And I want to count the number of rows. So I use shape zero, and that will give me the number of rows. Now you may be aware that the Excel method produces a data frame, but there are other data types handling two dimensional data in Python. One of the main ones is uh, what's called an ND array, an N dimensional array, which is produced by the NumPy library with this NP array method. So here I'm converting the DF finishes data frame into an ND array and calling it R finishes, array finishes. And the second line in this code is just filtering it in the same way. All right, so we've got exactly the same result from both methods. One is using a data frame and one is using a NumPy array. So now we should test how fast they are in comparison to each other. Here, I'm going to put time it, which is called an IPython magic command, and it will time the line that comes after it. And that will execute the line thousands of times and then print into this diagnostics pane some statistics about how long this line takes to run. It takes a little while because, of course, it's executing it thousands of times. OK, we've got this message in the diagnostics pane. It says... 922 microseconds plus or minus 72.4 microseconds per loop. It has done seven runs with a thousand loops in each run. So it has executed that line 7,000 times. Let's try the same thing for the NumPy array. Wow. So the data frame method took 922 microseconds. The NumPy method is more than twice as fast. This is not to say that you should always use NumPy instead of data frame, but in some situations where you've got a lot of calculating to do and a lot of processing to do on a large data set, you might want to consider NumPy. The Excel method in Python and Excel returns a data frame, but there is a way we can change it, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. First, let's take a look at this initialization pane. You can see here that it's imported this module called Excel, and within Excel, there are some methods here, set Excel scalar conversion and set Excel array conversion. And there's a comment above it that says set default conversions for the Excel function. So that's interesting. That should pique your interest at the very least. What we need to do now is try and figure out what is going on in these functions. I reckon by looking at this, that this method is determining what the Excel method gives us. This callback function is saying, the Excel method should give us a data frame. So I wonder, can we create a function and pass it into this set Excel array conversion so that the Excel method gives us a NumPy array? Well, it turns out we can. Probably not a surprise. I'll show you how to do it now. In order to find out what's going on in this initialization setting, we need to do a little digging. And we can do that with the Python's help method. So we can type help Excel, and it will show us the help for the Excel package. And here it is. Package contents, these are all modules. But at the bottom, there's this one called Excel to Python data conversion. So let's find out about that module to Python data conversion. And we get the help on that module. And in there is the familiar function that we were looking for, convert to data frame x headers equals false, and then keyword args. But the important thing is that if we want to create a function to go into this Excel set Excel array conversion, we need to have the same signature as the function that is already being passed into it. So we need to create a function that has these arguments, x, headers, and keyword args. Here I have defined a convert to ND array function with the same signature, x, headers, and keyword args. And very simply, I'm converting x to an MP array and I'm returning it. So that's it. That's that's all I'm doing, really. And then if I want to use that, I need to then put this line, but with my function name in here. And we'll call it convert to ND array and execute. When it executes, it won't do anything. But the real test to see whether it's worked is to see what happens when we use the Excel method. So let's take a look. 
Back on the data page, I've got the line that we had earlier. I'm just gonna uncomment it, I'm not gonna change it otherwise. We'll probably need to rename it, but I won't do that right now. And we'll see what kind of data it returns. So it's now returned an ND array, an n-dimensional array, using the same code as before, but because I made that change to the initialization, the Excel method will now give me an ND array instead of a data frame. And that really is the end of the video. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for your support. Have a great day.